You won't believe how much money you can make with a simple seasonal strategy. Seasonal strategies should be a part of any trader's portfolio. And in this video, I will show you one simple strategy, two line of codes only, trading the gold futures, making lots of money, starting right now. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading and everything else in between. We want to trade robust strategies inside portfolios to make money in the financial market. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that I post daily on this channel. Also, it would be amazing if you can smash the like button, share the video with others as this will help Google to push the video to other traders, other investors, so they can get the same value out of these videos. Seasonality started on agriculture future products uh, back in the 70s and 80s, and actually there is a fundamental reason behind them. But now we can find seasonality in every instrument in the financial market, most instruments in the financial market. Now, when you find seasonality, that's not a guarantee that it's gonna follow through every single time, but it gives you an edge that if you follow it, uh, then you can make a profitable uh, strategy out of it. And currently I follow seasonality through a tool called SeasonX. And SeasonX has about uh, 27,000 uh, plus instruments in their database. And they range from currencies, commodities, stocks, and indices all over the globe. And you can actually join uh, for free and you get, uh, I think, 40 instruments and 10 years worth of data. But if you decide to buy the subscription, I have a 20% discount for you and you can find that in the link uh, below the video. So if we go to gold futures, uh, this is the seasonality dashboard we have and I'm gonna pull a 25 years of data. And if you detrend the curve, we can see very simply that there is a seasonal patterns in January up to February and then from February to March down and then somewhere in July till end of August and then back October to beginning of November down. And actually here you can, if you go to pattern, this is something picked by the algorithm and we can see these are the uh, years since 97, I put 25 years and this is the median uh, profit per trade 3.07% and if you annualize that that's about roughly 30% per year and we are may uh, with a win percentage of 72% so for example if I pick January 14 to February 1st we can see the annualized return is up of course we are making less money but because we're spending less time in the market so the annualized return is higher and this is a short uh, seasonality pattern in gold where so this is the opposite so our win percentage is 76 percent and we are annualizing almost 26 percent with a median return of 1.37 percent per trade so this is again 76 percent win percentage and annualized at 22 and the median return is 2.62 uh, percent so again this is a very good pattern for gold now all these patterns of course are excellent the problem with those patterns i mean it's not a problem but it is a disadvantage it's the number of trades even with 25 years worth of data we have three trades per year so that's 75 trades in the past 25 years now this is not enough uh, trades but if you combine many instruments in a portfolio then you can get a good number of trades. So here, if you just click and you exit the daily seasonality here, this is the monthly and weekly seasonalities. So we can see clearly that in the past 25 years, Friday and Monday are up days and Tuesday is down day and Wednesday looks like neutral. And if I pick last 15 years, again, Friday and Monday stays the same, last 10 years, and last five years, let's say you're building strategies on gold, you might add this as a filter. So if your strategy picks a short on Monday, then don't do it. Or it picks a short on Friday, then don't do it. 
So you can use it not to trade, you can use it as a filter. Now I built a uh, an Excel sheet that takes all this data and does um, a lot of analysis on it to give us uh, more granular data to see what's inside every day. So here I loaded the gold uh, data and this is the heat map. So first of all, we can see that the activity time is between 9 and 12. This is Eastern Standard Time, but this is what I want to show you. So this is intraday per hour. So yes, Friday looks up, but not starting from uh, the beginning. It's actually somewhere around between 4 and 5 o'clock. And also the beginning of day Monday is up, but most of the other times are down. The only problem with this sheet is we don't have detrending in it. So, so this is the goal. If you do the average, this is what I'm doing here. I'm getting the average of every hour. And this is what we're getting here, the average of every day. So if you detrend it, you can see the seasonality pops up really clear. The problem here in Excel, I don't have this uh, detrending. So we need to do some testing. So this is the gold futures, five minutes in TradeStation. And the data I have here, I put since uh, January 1st, 2007. And this is the strategy. If market position is zero, that means if we don't have uh, anything. And day of the week is Friday, this five is Friday. And time is greater than this input. So 500 means 5 uh, uh, a.m. Then we will buy next bar at market. And if we are long and day of the week is Monday and time is greater than 1 a.m. Then we sell next bar at market. So 1 a.m. is here. Well, I'm going to only optimize this one. Of course, you can optimize this one also. So this is an example of a trade for this strategy. So this is an optimization done from uh, uh, entering from 4 a.m. till uh, 4 p.m. every hour. And you can see the nice thing is they're all profitable. Of course, we know this because I'm entering somewhere between this peak and this peak. So anywhere you enter here, we should be profitable, but we need to test anyway. And of course, anytime you exit between Sunday and early morning Monday, again, you should be profitable, which I tested it, but I don't want to complicate things. So I just want to show you one chart. And you can see they're all profitable. And by the way, uh, this strategy has $25 for commission and slippage. So, and the minimum one we can see it's uh, roughly around $80. And of course, 10 is being the best. But of course, if I want to trade this, I will pick something like seven o'clock. And this is the strategy performance annually since 2007. We're making uh, money every year except 2016. And if we go to the performance graph, so here we have the stagnation between uh, February 2016 till beginning till January of 2019. So that's almost two years and 10 months where we did nothing basically and we are just making new highs currently. And this is the drawdown, extremely acceptable, is under 7%. And of course, we're trading fixed one contract per trade. There is no stop loss, no profit target. And trade analysis, like I mentioned, where our average trade is 159. And this is including $25 slippage and commission. There are 747 trades and uh, we are almost 58% uh, win percentage. So that's the difference we want to get when we trade intraweek. Because, of course, seasonalities do exist on monthly, especially for agriculture futures, like I mentioned. But still, I mean, I've checked many. I have also a portfolio on stocks, trading seasonalities in the Discord server. But here, when we trade intraweek, of course, we will get much more trades. And that's what we're looking for, because more trades makes the uh, pattern significant. Now, this pattern is raw. There is no optimization on it, no filter on it, because you can add uh, like uh, day, monthly filter, you can add volatility filter, direction filter, uh, RSI, you name it. There are, um, you know, at least 100 filters I can add to this strategy. But this is raw, and that's what I like about seasonalities. It's on its uh, raw basis, it's extremely profitable. So anything you do on top of it, it's just an icing on the cake. Now, like I showed you, there are other patterns in the gold. And for example, we can see that Monday also starts around 2 
and here is the exit between 6 a.m till 8 p.m and again we can see all of them are profitable this is after commission and slippage but of course for example this is around 25 dollars which is very low but we can see here if we exit around eight uh, that would be very good and we're making about 63 dollars uh, this is after commission and slippage so that's very good and this is the average trade 66 and again we have plus 750 trades and periodical returns we are losing 21 losing 2019 and 2016 so we have four years of losses with the short strategy the curve again is good when we combine it so now this is how it looks together so this is friday to monday and then after that we go short and we exit this is the uh, annual return so of course we make less because uh, now we lost uh, some money on the short side on 2021 but now we have long and short and we are doing uh, 1500 trades half and half both of them above 50 percent winning percent and the average trade goes down to 112 and the graph now uh, we eliminate some of the stagnation now we have we go up in the middle drawdown now is more with the short side so now we are around 13 percent of course like i mentioned there is no profit target no stop loss no filter in uh, the, the strategy which of course you can easily add to them like i promised extremely simple seasonal strategy you can add it to your portfolio of course you should enhance it by catastrophic stop loss profit target uh, volatility filters and so on and so forth but really every trader should have uh, seasonal patterns in their portfolio because that diversify uh, your portfolio by style because other strategies depends on uh, some logic this one is a fixed pattern and it will add a huge diversification to your portfolio of course if you have any questions any comments please do so below the video and i'll be more than happy to answer you and if you want to take this further and be a part of my inner circle and receive the tactical asset allocation portfolio signals the seasonal stock signals alongside the live question answer sessions and many many free downloads then you are welcome to join the discord server through the patreon link down below as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon